morning everyone Kathy here it's 7 30 in the morning on Friday uh, we just got down here to Denver Bill and I had me walking buddy so, yeah we left the light at 4 a.m. got down here and we'll be doing chemo today and we'll see what my C125 is as well and it might be a big chemo day so here we are, but beautiful morning for a walk. Here we got Bill and Buddy. Yeah, the sun's coming up. Look at that. Beautiful. Here at Anschutz. One of the best. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't know if you can see it because I cover it up. Yeah. You ready? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. There we go. Gotta show the blood. There it is. It's been a great port. The other ones didn't function well. Uh uh. Yeah. All good. All good. But this one is working. Everybody gets all freaked out because you know every once in a while it's hard to get blood out of them. It's positioning and stuff of, right. of where the little tube is in the big vein, and they're all freaking out. And I always have to tell them it's just a matter of plumbing. Yeah, you know, really and truly, it is. Yeah. Yes. Protein, I guess. Yeah. It is Sunday, January 31st, following up after my chemo treatment in Denver over a week ago, uh, nine days ago. Um, treatment went well, but you know, I see the doctor beforehand and we did the CA-125 test and that test showed that my cancer number was all the way up to 747. <laughs> So he said you can't compare the two tests because the one test was done here in Salida and theirs is there and the one in Salida you got to mail off, you don't get the results for a couple days and then down at CU you get it back in you know, an hour and the tests down there are really sensitive. So that was quite a blow. I was bummed about that. Um, but what are you going to do? So. <laughs> uh, um, so anyways, he increased my carboplatinum, or sorry, cisplatinum, and did chemo, that went fine, felt fine, but then I wasn't able to go to the bathroom for five days, and I was in a lot of pain, and I had done everything. Stool softener, smooth move tea, enema, uh, fiber, uh, metamucil, not, yeah, fiber, metamucil, same thing. <laughs> And um, Miralax. So finally, uh, CU called me on uh, Tuesday to check in and I told him what was going on and I told him I was taking aloe vera juice to help soothe my stomach because I was in such pain and it did work really well. So the oncology nutritionist said that uh, although aloe vera juice is good, it actually takes uh, magnesium and potassium out of your system and so does this carbon again, cisplatinum. 
So with not a lot of magnesium, you don't go to the bathroom either. So she told me to take a dose of uh, Miralax in one of the magnesium citrate bottles. I took that at 1.30 Tuesday afternoon. I didn't go to the bathroom until 2 a.m. Wednesday morning. Needless to say, I was relieved. During that time, I was in so much pain, I was ready to throw in the towel, <laughs> I really was. And uh, fortunately, it all went through. <laughs> and going more regularly now, I have to take the Miralax daily. So it was, it's been a tough couple months. And you know, me and my friends, CJ and Wendy Otis, who's my oncologist here in Salida, Dr. Wendy Otis and CJ and her husband and I, been talking about going to Hawaii and with my recent cancer number going up as high as it was we decided we are going February 22nd so good news is I'm going to Hawaii <laughs> I don't know how much longer I've got but I don't know people it's so important that you can go to the bathroom and that was some of the most painful episodes I've ever had and I've experienced quite a bit of pain so Anyway, that's my report. Um, not the best news, but short term, it's great news because I'm going to Hawaii. And I'm going to enjoy every minute of it. This is going to make up for not going to Switzerland. And not like we're going to be able to get to Europe anytime soon anyway. And prices to Hawaii right now are super cheap. By then, I'll have been vaccinated. I get my second dose uh, this Friday, February 5th. And uh, you just have to have a right now as of today you just have to have a negative COVID test right before your flight and they'll let you go so Wendy CJ and I have been talking about going to Hawaii for a while now and uh, decided to do it asked Bill if he wanted to go and Buddy's a little uh, what do you call it but he gets anxious when Bill leaves. He howls and cries and no matter who's watching him. Uh, separation anxiety. So uh, I think Bill and I are gonna plan a trip uh, after Hawaii and do something, some road trip that we can take Buddy. But I wish Bill could go because Bill's the best. And I love him so much. So very excited. Ooh, nice sun ray there. And uh, I'll be seeing more of that in Maui. All right. Anyways, that's what I'm planning for now. And that's what I'm focusing on. So I'm not going to live by a number. You know, maybe all that stuff stuck in me made my number go up. I don't know. But all I can say is I'm feeling so much better now. I feel human. It's just been a tough, a tough couple months, it seems. So love you all. And, uh, oh, and I've also dropped to working one day a week now. It's just been two days has been too much for me so I'm dropping to one and I'll drop to I'll stop working you know whenever I feel it's it's time to do so but I feel I can still do one day a week and be productive so that's that's the plan so hope you're all well and I will check in again soon love you guys bye